Hey Scrappers, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, today I wanted to show you a mini album that I had made um, as part of a design team for Scrapbook Bo uh, Boutique here in Australia. Um, it was a men's mini album. I I done it because it um, you don't see very many um, male minis out there and I'm hoping that this will provide some sort of inspiration out there. A lot of the ladies that did see the photos had asked me if I was going to do a YouTube video on it. And finally I'm going to do one um, a little late, sorry ladies. But um, I made my own binding, um, my own folder bind binder and um, album cover and everything. So... Um, that's from scratch. I used Tim Holtz products, Graphic 45, uh, Tattered Angels, and I've got a Zutter here, which is like a little uh, leather clasp, and it's got your little lock and key thing here as well. Now, um, the, these are great for keeping your albums together um, because you can you can distress them. And I actually stamped on it as well, so which is fantastic for me. Okay, let's get started. I've actually just put some um, fibres on here, uh, Tattered Angel Key, uh, Sprockets, and of course the Ball and Chain here by Tim Holtz. Um, I've used the Tim Holtz Ornate Plate, and I've actually used, um, these are like clear... Um, embellishments here. These are actually Tim Holtz as well. I love these so I use them throughout the album. I've done the clock face as well. Okay so let's get started. Graphic 45 papers and I actually put some uh, uh, little metal corners here as well. Right the first page we've got, I've just done a little tag once again. It's got a Tim Holtz stamp here and a little journaling ticket as well. Then I've done a basic page here and taken a strip of the graphic 45 papers. Now I've made a pocket as well. Now this is your journaling mat. You can have it journaling or photos actually. You can maybe do journaling on the back. I've actually made a little wallet as well to go in there. So if you're giving it to a, a guy as a gift, you could probably, you know, you could put photos in there, or you could put some money in there and do a gift card, um, do it as a birthday present, any kind of present for a man here. And all I've done was added some um, journaling tickets on here. And, of course, you can turn them over and put um, photos on there as well. The little pouch opens inside, which you can put your money in, or if you choose, you can put a gift card in there as well. So... That's a cute um, little thing in itself here. So that's what it looks like. And once again, I use the Graphic 45 papers. I've done faux stitching around the side of it with a black marker and um, used a vintage photo on this as well. Okay, so next I'll flip over to the other page. Once again, pretty basic, but still pretty elegant as well for a, a men's mini but I totally love these papers guys all I done was actually cut these paper bags up I haven't got it I haven't got them attached or anything um, they're singular paper bags and I just cut them to the size that I wanted but also made sure in the process that I've got a pocket on this one I decided to do a shirt and tie now you can do the tie plain so you can put journaling on here and behind her, I actually made a little pocket. Um, once again, you can do journaling or put photos in there as well. So, and that just slides in behind the shirt and the tie. So I made it so that it's a pocket. Then we turn it over. Now what I've done with this page was actually spliced it in half um, to actually make a pocket, but it still looks like one general page. Of course, you don't have to do this. I just thought maybe you can put an extra photo mat in there or some journaling tickets and pull them out. Okay. This one here, I tend to put um, these in my minis as well. And this was cute. I cut out the little hat. This is a uh, Seven Gypsy Swivel Clasp. 
And then what I've done is, there we go. So lots of room here for photos and journaling. And I suppose you can put some on the back as well if you wanted to. But I'd only just stuck it on the front there. Okay, turn it back in. Another pocket here with another journaling mat and five stitching on the front of it. Something really simple, guys. Not too, um, not too fancy, I guess. This one I really enjoyed making. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. What I actually used was cream card stock and a uh, cuddle bug folder. Um, clockworks it would have been. Now, what I've done with this one, I used Cream colour cardstock, I ran it through my cuddle bug. I used, oh, what is it? The Ranger um, acrylic paint. I used, it was like a beige colour and smudged it all over. Wait till it dried. I distressed it. Then I actually put, um, used vintage photo and used a couple of different browns, Tim Holtz ones. And then once again, I'd actually, um, I'd sanded it down and then reapplied the inks again and then glimmer misted it in, I think it was soft suede. And it just turned out beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it does actually look like a suede colour um, in, in person. I don't think the, the video will do it justice, but that's just a little... Um, technique here as well so and here's another page here once again you can um, slide in either a big journaling tag or you can do a photo mat in here so I've just done a couple of little ones here with a journaling tag and writing or stamping sorry old writing and then I cut out this little clock face here and just stuck it on a um, a little metal embellishment here okay once again done a photo mount and journaling you can use here I left this basic and um, you can add photos in here so which is pretty cool once again I use the same technique as the other page with this one and every time it depending on the depth that you want it to and stuff I just wanted I didn't want this to be into depth in color so I, I held back on a lot of my coloring on this one I just cut out a couple of clock faces and just put them on the page randomly but this is so easy to do guys and I'll probably do a tutorial on it at some point as well okay then all I've done was added a little clip here to hold these little tags once again, another clock face. And this was the fun part, making this one. Okay, it's like a little jacket. Open it up and put tickets on the side of it. And the tag lifts up as well. Or the tie lifts up. And I found this little feather. I think uh, millinery feather I found as well. So And put a little a couple of buttons across there. That reminds me of a golf shirt, but it's quite cute anyway for a, for a guy. And this little flip thing here, I tend to put that in most of my minis as well. It just gives it a bit more room for your journaling and for photos. So it just flips over and over. And there you go. Okay, so it's a cute little novelty to have in there as well. There we go. And then... Once again, this is the back foot. So I've just stuck random pictures at the back here just to fill up the space. You could uh, leave it blank and then you can add more photos on the back here and journal as well. And then another pretty brief page here as well. So that's all I've done. And it, it was pretty basic, guys. Um, and it was so much fun to make. Like I said, I mean, Graphic 45 papers, they are so easy to use. Um, they're just gorgeous papers. So... I hope this has inspired um, a few of you out there um, into making your own men's mini album and um, maybe giving you some ideas to do something for a, for a man as well. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Take care. Bye.